Hey guys, it's Kathleen. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? So, you know how in Monday's video I was sick? I'm still sick. So, this is going to be great. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing something that I'm very excited about. Um, when I saw this announced, I was like, this is going to be good. So I immediately jumped online, ordered it. It got here about five days ago. I just haven't had the chance to sit down and like look at it and play with it so I figured I'd do it on camera for you guys to see because it's really cool. So I have the brunch date collection from Zoe and Colourpop. You know Zoella and Zoe and same person. I'm literally so excited for this. I have the whole PR collection because it was $89 and then I found a coupon for $5 off so it basically got rid of shipping and it was $89 so $90 for all of this it's got the blush highlight three lip kind of kits um, two liquid eyeshadows two gel pencils and the eyeshadow palette plus the little carry bag which is really nice it smells like my childhood that plastic is just amazing and it also comes with like a sheet of stickers if you want stickers for anything I know I like stickers so I use the stain right on my desk so yeah we're just gonna hop right into it so don't forget subscribe give a thumbs up you know I'm sick and it make me feel better I already did my bronzer my base I primed my eyes and I did my eyebrows so we are all prepped for this video so I think I'll start with my eyes today this is the unicarton that the palette comes in. It's really shiny. It feels nice. I like how it's got the matte little bits and then in the middle it's kind of shiny. It's really cool. Okay, and then this is the palette Berenge Date. It's matte with the letters shiny and all the like little details on it. It's so cool. And here are the colors in the palette. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different colors. We are going to just Play with this. I kind of want to do the blue since I I wore a blue shirt specifically so I could try the blue out. <laughs> so in this palette there's not a lot of like medium toned like light toned um, transition shades so I think I'm just gonna go right in with maple syrup which I should hold this right here. Uh, maple syrup which is the bottom left one. I'm just gonna use my big fluffy brush since I want to blender out real good. I just dipped in tap off the excess and I'm gonna work it right up into my crease Kinda move it to the outer corner as well I blended really nicely it was a nice smooth blend I like that it does have some fallout on it but not a whole lot just a tiny tiny bit but I think any good shadow has just the tiniest bit of fallout, so you can't really expect no fallout. I think now I'm going to grab the liquid eyeshadows, which come in this little, little like orange juice box, which I absolutely love. It comes with the two colors. They're both kind of more glittery, metallic-y. This one is Bellini and it's more like a rosy, rose gold color. Let me put it down so I can do this properly. Just watch it on the back of my hand. Ooh, that's like a actually coppery, like a coppery pink-ish toned color. And then we have OG. It's more glittery and it's definitely more of like a neutrally brown tone. So that one's OG and that one's Bellini. I think I'm going to use OG today and save Bellini for another day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a finer blending brush like this and I'm going to dip into a little bit of Mimosa, which is right here in the top right. I'm going to pick a little bit of that up on the brush. I'm going to work that in the outer corner into the crease. Kind of bringing that in a little bit. I'm having a little bit more trouble trying to blend mimosa in. 
it might just be my brush. So what I like to do is tap a color on to where I want it to be and then I start blending it out. Okay. Now that I got that color laid down and that brush does not want to work, I'm just going to grab my big blending brush and lightly go over it. Okay, so now that we've got those colors laid down and blended in, I'm going to use OG and I'm going to put this in the inner half of my eye. Now, I'm not gonna use it straight from the applicator. You guys know I hate using these kind of cream products straight from the applicator because I'm messy when it comes to that. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush and just take some of the product off. And then I'm gonna just work it onto the lid. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I'm just going to take the other side of the brush, which I didn't pick any product up with, and I'm just going to tap, dip, 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 tap out the corner. Now, because I know my lids are going to crease, I'm going to take a different brush. So because my eyes do crease, I'm going to use a powder from the palette to just press on top because... I don't want any creasage. So I think the color I'm going to use is going to be Champagne Toast, which is this bright one right here. It's a bit lighter than the color I have on my lid, but that's okay. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to grab a little on this brush that I have here. It's a wet and wild brush. And then I'm just going to gently tap over it just a little bit. I don't want to Try to take away any of the color. I just want to set it in place and then blend out the edges a little bit. So now that that's done, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to dip into maple syrup again. I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of it and I'm going to go back over this edge, the top edge too, and just make sure all the colors are blended together because I don't want any harsh lines. Okay, so that part is done. I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with the same color champagne toast. I'm going to use this little tiny flat brush. I'm going to first use it dry to see what kind of color payoff we get, but if I don't think it's enough, then I'm going to just add some more. So we're just going to tap, tap a roomy. Bring it a little bit in here. I think that has really beautiful play payoff. Playoff. <laughs> payoff it's not too overwhelming but it's definitely glittery in there which I like all right now for the fun part I'm gonna go in with the blue you know what that flat packer that I took a little bit of maple syrup on I'm just gonna clean it off real quick I'm gonna use that to dip into this beautiful blue shade called Brunch Club dip in there on there. This is the first time using blue for me, ever, because I've always been like, oh, I have blue eyes, blue won't work, but then I watched um, multiple people with blue eyes do it, and I'm like, you guys are right. So I'm going to just take it right under my eye. I'm just going to work it in there. This blue is very pigmented and very easy to blend, actually, which is surprising. I have my little brush that I set my under eyes with. I'm just going to make sure there's no fallout. And there wasn't any. At least not on my face, there wasn't. In the collection, we do have two gel eyeliners. One in black and one in a more of like a chocolatey brown. I think I'm going to go more for the chocolatey brown today. Just because we're doing some more like brown toned things on the eyes. So this one is XOXO, and I think this one is the black one, yes. This is XOXO. Very, very creamy. And then we have Sincerely Yours, which is the brown. We're just gonna... Very chocolatey, very nice. So I'm going to pop that liner, the XOXO, in 
to my little liner cup and we're going to use the brown one just a little bit to tight line the upper lash line. Oh god, oh, doing eyeliner is so hard for me. <sighs> my eyes get so watery. It went on very well. I didn't want like an extreme looking liner look today, so this is good. I'm going to zoom out now and we're going to get to the face products. So now we're going to move on to the... I don't want to do this in the wrong order. Okay, so now we're going to move on to blush and highlight. They come in these cute little cartons that make them look like eggs. Adorable. I can't. Okay, so the blush is called Soulmate. Ooh, this is definitely the kind of blush that I like. It's this pinky, peachy, corally kind of tone. Definitely the kind of blush that I am all about. And it also comes with this giant mirror. Dope. Okay, so I'm going to grab my big powder brush. It's just my e.l.f. powder brush. You know? I'm going to very gently dip in because I don't want to get too much blush. And we're going to just apply. Ooh, very pigmented. I only grabbed the tiniest of bits. And you can definitely see it on my face. It's a very beautiful color, though. So I'm about it. I'm in it. It's a very natural blush. Like, you can definitely build it up if you want to, if you're, like, more about the blush type thing. Like, a very strong blush. You can totally do it with this. And now we're going to go into the highlighter called Swipe Right. And it is a golden toned highlighter. I don't know how well it's going to look on me. I'm going to swatch it first because I am very fair. Here is the highlighter right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Like, oh, it doesn't swatch the best. You can't really see it very well on camera, but it is very faint. I think it'll work on my skin tone. We're gonna, we're gonna see. I just dropped my brush. We're gonna see if it works on my skin tone. I'm gonna go in. Ooh, it looks very yellow on the brush. Ooh. Okay. Let's hope I don't. It doesn't not match my skin tone because that would really suck for me. It is very yellow. I have to say that. It's um, not exactly the best color for my skin tone because I'm very pale and I'm more along like neutral cool toned. So I like more of like the silvery white kind of highlighter. But this is pretty. I like the color too. It's not blinding. Like, I can't even tell that it's there, honestly. I'm just gonna keep adding some until I... Oh! On my skin, it looks like it kind of has, like, a pinky reflective. Is that weird? Is that just me? Am I losing my mind? It is a little dark, so if I'm looking straight on, it looks like I have yellow on my cheeks, but when I turn my head, it turns into more of a, like, a pinkish highlighter. Hmm. It's a little dark for me. Cupid's bow, as always. I cannot go without Cupid's bow highlight. Okay, so I like it. It's just too yellow toned for me. And I know that's going to probably be that way for a lot of other people. So I'm just going to grab my highlighter and just go over it a tiny bit so it doesn't look so dark. To not be dark today. Okay, that's a little better. So that's definitely more for darker skin tones. I say darker. Darker than me. I'm very pale. So I'm like the lightest foundation shade. If you stepped up like two, three foundation shades, this highlight would look bomb. Like if you're into pinky toned highlighters, go for this one for sure. But lighter tones, it's kind of like, eh, I mean, all right, I'm going to set my face real fast. Why does everything keep falling today? This is not my day. So I'm gonna just set my face real quick with my Milani Make It Last Matte. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do mascara next off camera, and then we'll be back for lips. Okay, this eye look looks so much better with mascara. I used my Maybelline Total Temptation mascara. Love it, live for it. So now we're gonna do lips, and they are kind of chapped. 
So I'm gonna just put a little chapstick on real quick because they're really dry. The collection came with three different lip packages and again, milk cartons. So freaking cute. So we have three liquid lips right here with matching lip liners. The red one is called Self Love Club and the lippy is bossy. Um, this one is more of like a mauve nude called At Me and it's lippy is oh snap. And then this one, which is like a true nude um, called Little One and the pencil is also called Little One. So here are the swatches. This is Self Love Club with Bossy Lip Liner. Then we have At Me with O oh Snap Lip Liner. And then we have Little One with Little One Lip Liner right here. This one's definitely more of a brownish tone, mauve, and a nice red. It's almost like a blue toned berry ish type of red, which I really like. All right, I think I'm gonna go with the True Nude today little one because I am not feeling the greatest as I said in the beginning of this video so we're just gonna keep it nude keep it simple so I'm gonna use the lip liner just to line my lips a little bit I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit because I always do that just a touch I don't like to go ham so I'm just gonna my liquid lip. I always have problems with applying liquid lips. So pray for me. This formula is very liquidy, which I find very helpful in applying because then I can spread it out a little bit easier than if it was like a thick, thick cream. Here's a look with the lip on. So that's everything from this collection. I I really like it. It did live up to all my expectations, minus the highlighter, which is okay. You know, not everyone can use the same highlighter. Totally understand that. Just kind of bummed it didn't work the best out, out the best for me, but I can always use this like eyeshadow or, you know. Um, eyeshadow palette, beautiful. Love it. The colors are just fantastic. It can be super easy for every day. It can be super easy for, you know, like if you want to be a little extra with the blue or you want to do a little bit of like this pink. Love it. Um, the liquid eyeshadows are great. Once I set it, I have absolutely no creasing. So that's awesome. Liner is super creamy. Eyeliner is beautiful. Blush is great. Lips, they're good. I mean, I have a little bit of cracking in my lips because it's a dry formula. I probably should have prepared a little bit more by like scrubbing my lips and moisturizing heavily this morning. Didn't think about that. But overall, I really like this collection. Plus the value you get when you order the PR package is like insane. It's about $6 per item. So that's a really good value. Plus this bag, um, I'm going to keep this and use it for traveling, put like my toiletries in it put makeup in it, whatever. It's super, it's like a sturdy pen plastic. Okay, so that's everything for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to see more content from me. I post every Monday and every other Thursday. So it's not gonna be next Thursday. It's gonna be the Thursday after that for another Thursday video. So leave a comment down below telling me if you've tried any of these products and how your experience went with them. Cause I know everyone has different tastes in makeup, how they want them to work. Um, like to see what you guys have to say and also suggest future videos. I have a video coming up that a subscriber did suggest. I'm gonna give her a shout out in that video because awesome. All right, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!